Hi there. Having recently worked on Sonic Pi, I produced a TouchOS C screen uh, which emulated the layout of uh, Push 2. I thought it would be a good idea, having got that working, to see whether I could do something similar with uh, a real Push 2 device, which I've got here. It's connected up to Sonic Pi um, using a MIDI interface, USB MIDI interface. You can see Sonic Pi up here, ready to run the program, which is going to drive it. One of the nice things I like about Sonic Pi is that it can not only uh, play things, but because it's a Ruby base, it's um, not too difficult to actually get it to control other devices as well. And all of the LEDs on the Push 2 are being controlled by Sonic Pi. There is no built-in circuitry which is doing that. Um, Ableton produce um, a document which gives you some details about how to connect to the various LEDs. Uh, it's all done by means of MIDI control change um, messages and uh, by using Sonic Pi we can actually control them in a similar way to the note input on um, Ableton Live when it's uh, Ableton Push 2 when it's being used with Ableton Live uh, which is where I would normally use this but uh, let's just run the program in Sonic Pi and as I do so you will see that it actually brings all the LEDs to life um, you will see that there is a green bar up here and I can actually choose one of several synths which are programmed in here and um, we've got the keyboard input here if I press a key it plays a note um, sometimes sticks the first time I've just cancelled all the notes let's try again that's better and you'll notice that as I play that that uh, sometimes some other LEDs change colour to green this is a feature that uh, uh, Ableton use with their Push 2 because the keyboard uh, mapping is um, not straight linear as you might expect from the bottom if you go along the bottom row you play a scale but when you get to the second row, that note there that I'm tapping is actually the same as that note, and you can continue on here, and we continue on here. So all of the notes which are lit when you press the key actually play the same note, and this is just a uh, a way of telling you where to jump to on the keyboard. If you're coming down a scale, you could go like that, or you could go like that. The same uh, effect. Sometimes if you're playing lots of notes together, it can become a bit uh, confusing with all these green LEDs lighting up. So I've programmed one of the switches on here to turn that off so that now it only highlights the note that you're playing, which you can see there. You can see it's quite responsive. I can get quite a fast trill going there, or I can play a little tune. Oops. So it gets quite a nice uh, playing instrument with Sonic Pi. If I program Sonic Pi, that is, it plays a long note when you hold the key down here and it stays on until it detects that the key is released and then it kills the note so that you actually can get long or short notes like this. And I would try, try a different uh, synth and a different one, different one. This one's uh, FM synth, which actually plays an octave below um, below the other notes. If you listen to that note, it's down an octave. But I've programmed the octave buttons on um, Ableton Live here. So when I press up an octave, it goes an up an octave. And again, uh, that's the maximum range I've got. I could go down to where we were or down below an octave where we started. So you'll probably not even hear that note. No. Let's go up an octave just hear it there hear it there we can play this is at the moment in the key of C along there using this strip here I can go from C major to D major to E major F major G major A major B major and then we're back to C again if I don't want a major scale 
can press this button and we get a minor scale. Back to major. If I just want an accidental, there's a C. If I use the um, slide strip here and I, click, I push my whole finger down somewhere below halfway like that, it plays a semitone lower. Up there, semitone high. You have to get your finger down before you press the key so that it registers and knows what to do. And it's quite nice to doing chordal patterns too, once you get some idea of how the key layout works. So there's a chord. So altogether, it gives quite a nice little uh, uh, instrument to play in Sonic Pi. It's a bit surreal, really, because this costs about uh, uh, enough for you to get uh, 10 or more pies for the, the, the cost of the Ableton uh, plus, plus 2. But it is, it is quite nice that you can control Sonic Pi with it and really get quite a good response. Thank you for watching. Uh, just an addendum to my last, last remark about the cost, that was comparing Ableton uh, Push 2 to the cost of a Pi 3, which will run Sonic Pi and which can run this program, although perhaps not quite as um, sprightly as the, on the Mac which I'm running here. Bye!